Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and in this three-part video series, I'd like to help you benefit from the power of no limit thinking. If you want to move beyond your current limits, you need to learn how to juggle three balls. And I explain what those balls are. The first one is no limit thinking. The second one is conquering your fear of failure. And the third one is moving out of your comfort zone and transform your feelings of discomfort into the courage to act. Without mastering those three balls, you never know how successful you can be and you never reach your true potential. Let's start with ball number one, no limit thinking. When I interviewed Dr. Wayne Dyer, we talked about his book, Disguise the Limit. And he said, the only limits you have are the limits you believe. What do you believe about your potential for peak performance? Let's assume your sales goal is a million dollars. Do you believe that you can reach 1.2 million, 1.5 million, or can you reach 2 million? And here's how your mind works. If you believe that 1 million is the limit, your creative mind won't be very active. If you imagine doubling your quota, your creative mind will kick into high gear and create new ideas and think of new opportunities. I'd like to share a quick history lesson. Here's a video clip about a speech that President John F. Kennedy delivered to Congress in May of 1961. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. President Kennedy realized that no limit thinking begins with a dream, a bold vision, a dare, and a deadline. He sold the creative minds of the nation on the idea of flying to the moon by the end of the decade. Kennedy's no limit vision turned into reality on July 20th, 1969, with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landing on the moon. This was a giant undertaking, not because it was difficult, because Kennedy had faith in the power of no limit thinking. He shifted the perspective of a nation. And uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer once said that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. See, life is finite, but mankind's capacity to dream and take action knows no limits. Let me share an example from the world of selling. Bill McDermott, the CEO of SAP, accepted a huge challenge when he worked for Xerox. He was transferred to Puerto Rico and took over a territory that ranked last out of 64 territories. Watch this clip. I found out by listening to the people that they had three main interests that were super important to them. One, they really wanted a vision for where we were going. What is the strategy? Two, they wanted to be inspired. And three, they wanted to have their holiday party back. So that year, as we built our momentum and we kind of turned the corner like Seabiscuit in October as number five, by the time we got to December, we broke through as number one and we proved that the underdog can win as they went from 64th to first. Isn't it amazing how one person's perspective can change everything? I've been privileged to witness many no-limit thinkers, like Michael Dell, who assembled computers in his college dorm. When I interviewed him, he was only 27 years old, and his company already did over two billion in sales. Today, Dell technology sales are over 78 billion. Here's another story that illustrates what no-limit thinking can do. When Sarah Blakely was 16 years old, her best friend died in a car crash same time, her parents got a divorce. And Sarah felt depressed and her dad gave her an audio recording from Dr. Wayne Dyer, how to be a no limit person. She listened to that program over 400 times until she knew it word for word. And over time, that message became second nature to her. She came up with the idea of Spanx and nobody thought this would be a commercial success. Her no-limit mindset helped her get a patent when nobody believed she could do it. 
She raised money when nobody thought that anyone would be interested. She got distribution when everybody said that this idea won't fly. At age 44, her net worth was listed by Forbes at over $1.1 billion. No limit people like Sarah Blakely, Michael Dell, or Bill McDermott see a world filled with potential impossibilities through the no limit thinking lens. To expand your thinking, imagine what you could do if you could remove some of your self-limiting beliefs. What you could do if there was no fear. So free yourselves from the shackles of a timid mind. Challenge yourself and answer this question. What is your moonshot? Please download your workbook now and join me in the next video where we talk about how you can overcome your fears that prevent you from taking action on your way to a no limit life. And yes, we'll also talk about ball number three, which is how to move out of the comfort zone. And in this three part series, you will learn literally how to juggle those balls and become a no limit thinker. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.